Alright everyone, we've just evaded a storm. And we're getting ready to go back in here, so let's do it. Oh, I have to walk forward more. Keep thinking I have to do something there. Anyways, everyone's cheering for us. Yay! We got guys up on the walkway over there. Let me get through these doors. Alright, man of the hour, you should see an objective marker on your HUD. Just follow that and dock your rig in the bay. Yep, that guy ran out of the way for good reason. One thing you can't do while you're in your rig is... Oh, wait, yeah, you can. Never mind. Forget what I was about to say. Jam! It's Gale. From the sound of all the cheering, I'm guessing the rig's working all right. Current retractor's coming handy out there? Yeah, yeah, kid. You done good. And there we go. Out of the rig in the base and everyone immediately stops cheering. Anyways, yeah, we need to go up top. That's what I did wrong. Oh, you're back. I haven't just been standing here the whole time, if that's what you're thinking. No, of course not. Pretty sure you have. I've seen you workers. You just stand there. At all times, you stand in the warmest places you can find. And you make it a mission to search out for the warmest place. But he finally moves. Finally. That's interesting. There's a worker in here now. And yeah. Okay, fine. Let's see, can I still talk to Nice that? work out there, man. Oh, I can talk to him. Yeah, I kind of... There he is. I forgot about that. Everyone here at Corona's owe you big time, Peyton. You sure know how to make an entrance. Corona's actual. You copy? It's serious. Talk to me, Jay. Observation pod 5 disappeared into the ravine out of umbilical range. We're trying to get a visual from camera 8, but the lens is frozen over. I'm rounding up a rescue team, but they need to know where to set up the harnesses. I'll let Peyton head down ahead of them and make contact. Keep me updated. Out. Peyton, that drink will have to wait. Here. This is a standard issue Camelot Felding grappling hook. You'll need it to descend the ravine. Don't waste a minute. I want them back alive. So yes, now I have a grappling hook. I was just going over here to see if this guy's still doing his thing. Yep, trying to get an elevator working. That might be the deactivated one downstairs. Maybe. Anyways, now we're going back out. Oh, he's back. Back to just standing. Are you talking laps? Is that it? Yeah, basically. Keeps you warm. When you're actually doing something. Um, I think that's where I need to go. Yep, back out in my rig. You could probably talk to everyone else here, but uh, I'm not that interested in the what they would have to say. And they might say it later, too, so, you know, I mean, get a lot of repeats that way sometimes. So I'll try to make sure I catch the important stuff, and... Oh yeah, the music player is playing anyways. I think we'll just let it play its music. Oh, that loud.
Okay, slight problem. Looks like the blast doors got frozen over solid. You'll need to manually force open the hydraulic door pistons with your claw arm. The pistons are on either side of the wall there. Yes, I'd love to. Well, maybe I have to... Oh, I just wasn't close enough. Okay. Let's see, does this one actually work? This one does with the WS. Actually work. Great, not the other one. It's on the opposite wall. That should do it. Opening blast doors now. Be careful out there. And here we go. Oh yeah, it's just right outside. You can actually run to here if you didn't have to go outside in your rig. Let's see, do I have my shotgun right now? Probably for the best. How do I use my grappling then? Hello? Is there anybody out there? I'm here, fellas. You got pretty lucky. Landed on a solid outcropping. Seems stable enough. Anybody hurt? Our life support's offline. And, uh, we could really use some air. Can you take a look at the, um, the exhaust on the TCS exchanger? I, I, it must have gotten crushed in the fall. Oh, something's broken here. Yeah, I see it. Purge tubes are all tangled up. Give me a sec. I'll see what I can do. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I can hear the life support kicking in now! Oh, thanks, Jim. You're a lifesaver! Alright, you fellas sit tight. The rescue teams will be down here in a jiff. Thanks, new guy. I already like you better than LaRoche. Well, that's good. No, that's not. Anyways, I think... Eh. Hmm. Oh, there's a cover system too, isn't there? I forgot about this. Okay, I'd love to do something. Getting out of cover would be good. I feel like something glitched out here a little bit because... Oh, that's how I do it. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Let's wow, really? All right, we're getting way back to this. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. <clears throat> ah. In hard mode, I would have been dead by now. Again, getting in pretty close contact with these guys, so... What was the grappling hook again?
Wait a minute, what can I edge lock here? Let me get behind cover here. Oh my goodness. There's a lot back there. Alright, this has a little bit more range on it. Maybe I'll be able to kill stuff better. Um, yeah, just kind of moonwalk off the edge there, little guy. That's all good. Alright. Oh, that's finally done. What is this? New gun? Yeah. Yeah, I should have grabbed that earlier. I probably could have been useful. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I actually missed that gun the last time I tried to do this. Wow, it can be hit for the first few seconds, could it? Wait a minute, where am I? Here we go! And back to the top. What have you done to my rig? Excellent work, Peyton. Oh, now gone. it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. We surveyed a new thermal pocket nearby at Hanneman's Basin, and we'll need you to plant a T-post to drain the pocket. This is probably your most important duty, keeping the base supplied with T-Energy. Uploading the coordinates to you now. Yep, so anyways, we're now heading... Go do this. This is basically still the tutorial, but. Hiya, Gracie. Got your message loud and clear. And the tunes. Great thought. Thanks. I'm here in one piece. Might be overstating it, but we made it. I'm safe. Just getting oriented. And. Yeah, there's nothing awkward about this at all. Guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Keep sending, okay? Remind me why I'm out here doing this. I miss you. Basically, these resemble new chapters. They tell you when the new chapter is. So, yeah. Well, kind of. Maybe not. But there is a storm coming up. I do know that. And monsters! Still not completely blind, but much more blind than before. Barapali here. Jim, your remittance transfers have been set up as requested. 15% of your contract payments will be paid out to you in the form of tea energy, since that has become the normal currency around the base. The rest of your earnings will be credited to the account on Earth you provided. Out. Thank you, Vardapale. Yeah, so that would have been the guy who went through our papers if we were to talk to him up there. And obviously, most of our money is going back to Earth. We just need enough money to survive up here. There goes some nice hunters. And you'll see why they're running in just a second. Delta Station. Looks like we've got another sudden Emperor-class storm heading in from Blind Sector North-Northeast. You've got two minutes to secure storm shutters and hightail it down to the hangar. Let's move. I think, if I remember correctly, our rig can handle this kind of storm. Class is pretty small, I think. Probably the, I don't know, there's just a thing that tells. 
maybe this is the big one. Well, looks like it's too late now. Yeah, that's a good idea. open on that. Okay, so that is when our rig can survive, it just freezes our rig solid. That's about right. Oh my goodness. If you get him in that, I don't. I think we had to kill that one that way. Anyways, if I remember properly, you have to shoot the ice off this. Of course, there are more of these guys. Oh man! Come on, dude. Shotgun could actually be really good for this. I can hit them. Oh my. Alright, let's make it so that I can... Oh, there's three of them. Yep, yep, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Might just have to spend some time dodging. Oh, I wasted a bullet. Start dodging more. Possibly using another weapon too. Yep, 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 yep. Run, 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 run. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Come on, heal faster, heal faster, please. I don't know, maybe I can just shoot him. It would be helpful to know that. Oh, come on, what is he doing? There we go, one down. This one we can kill with melee, I guess. At least injure it with melee. Oh, I missed! Now I've got to do this again? Really? Okay, a shotgun is definitely not the way to deal with those guys. It would be great if I could get it right in their mouth, but I don't think I can, so... i use this machine gun instead. Anyways... Let's knock the rest of the ice off. Really? 
Alright, it looks like we just gotta mess with trying to knock that ice off. We should be able to take care of these guys a bit better. Alright, so I didn't even have to kill those guys at first. I thought I did. Uh. Oh, we're going that way. Okay. Anyways, yeah, they don't like it when our rig is going because we can actually hurt them. Oh, okay, gotta get out here anyways. How many bullets do we have? This is our shotgun, I hope. Oh my, yeah, this is where we have to fight one, okay. This is where we absolutely have to fight one. Or two. The pain. Let's hope we got some ammo for this thing. Um, I'd like to see my heads-up display to know if I have ammo for it, but you know... Oh, I guess I can't know anymore. Oh, that's good. Because <laughs> I'm not near my rig. Oh, yeah, I should have full ammo, actually. There we go. Well, you gotta get close to that one. Alright, should be another way down. Here it is. That's always a good sign. That might help out later in this fight, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's having a falls one too. Isn't it pretty? I can't... Maybe we're supposed to hit its tails. I can't remember. Yeah, I think that's part of it. You try to hit its mouth. And then you try to hit behind it, I think. Oh, we must have hit it a couple of times. Bled some tea energy. Okay, well, I... Died at that time. Where to go? I'm a little bit concerned about where it is. Oh, what? There are two. these ones now. Okay. Just a bit concerning. Yeah, if they would open, if they open their mouth up like that for you, you can just kind of blast them a good... Oh, he's almost dead. Come on. Concerned about that big in where he is. There he is. Come on down here, Ben. Oh, I can't see Jim.
can go with the shotgun as the best weapon, at least for close up on this guy. Ah, but we're out. Alright, we'll begin running this weapon dry, I think, just to try to make that epo uh, ammo box worth it. Alright, we should have heard it there. Haha, -ha, killed it. Okay, good, good, good. Like I say, I think I uh, forgot about that the last time, so... Job I need the same much fuel by finding these thermal pockets on your own, planting T posts and maintaining them when they're full. Harvest them regularly and you'll be raking in the credits in no time. Got it, boss. I think this work is just my speed. Really killing these giant aliens while they're trying to eat your face off is your speed. Well, Oh, I didn't need that and ammo that so was for the went for fight. weeks and months until the extraordinary became commonplace. Dealing with the cold in my life became the new routine. Intense is real, but routine. I kept my sanity and wits by not thinking too deeply about what I was seeing and doing. It got lonesome sometimes, out in the Badlands. The music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. I was making great dough, getting choice contracts. That was the point after all. I made friends with the crew. They're a right good sort, those guys. Even LaRoche, for all his bluster, had his moments. For better or worse, I became Braddock's go-to guy. It had its benefits. But sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some damn strange situations. <laughs> Here is definitely the switch to chapter two. Harmonizers on a side of juice. One time I want an acre to attack. <laughs> what was I? Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off world. In those days, never had a work around. An antenna really on the highest heart. peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off-world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. My hands are tied. Nevik regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not gonna jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just nurse Comsat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? Be back by supper time. <laughs> oh, ho. Yeah, we're kind of becoming a, uh... Mmm, yeah. I think you get what I'm going for. Anyways, there's tons more to explore in this part of the base. So, um... We can get new weapons. That's good. And yeah, this is basically going to be a blind playthrough now. I just know this because I've played like the first little part of this chapter, finally got outside, and then stopped playing the game. So, blind from here on out. Anyways, thank you all for watching. It's been fun. And, uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.